Boy, rest in peace, driver, boy. That's some shit. They gonna pop the glass. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Boy, rest in peace, driver, boy. That's some shit. Driver unalived in the truck for more than a week. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Boy, rest in peace, driver, boy. That's some shit. They gonna pop the glass. Ooh. Ooh. God. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. that smell. Ooh. That smell is terrible. It got worse when they popped the window. You wanna go outside? You wanna go there? Man. 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 That's a big boy, yeah. Oh. Boy, boy, that's fucked up. That man died in the room. God. Yeah. Fuck. Mm. Look at all the flies in there. You in there? Yeah, you don't see all them flies? Look. <laughs> I can't say. You, you staying in here? Or you all right. The man that died is in the white truck. We are in the red truck. We've been parked here for about a week. He's been parked here longer. We complained to the store owner. A couple of other drivers complained about the smell because you could smell it. Flies were all over this man's truck. Um, the truck owner actually came out a couple of days ago and put a lock on his truck and a note on his window and told him to come inside that his truck was locked. But the whole time the man was in the truck dead. It's a fucked up situation. These companies don't give a fuck about you. The company didn't even try to find the load. I know it's stank. No, I don't smell it. Alright guys, you heard it for yourself. So Every day, I pray. When I get in this truck. And every day... I try to make sure that my family members know where I'm at at all times. Every day I tell my son, my mom, if you don't hear from me in a 24 hour span, a, a, a 48 hour span, find out what's going on. Call wherever I'm at because my, my phone pings where I'm at. Call that truck stop. Call that shipper receiver. Call uh, someone so they can come and do a wellness check. Because in situations like this, this driver has been in this truck for a long period of time said something to the effect that the owner of the truck came and locked it up without even thinking or without even bothering to inspect the truck to see if he's in there how could you not know that your driver is unalive in the truck i'm sure they like they said they was complaining about the smell how could you come up to the truck lock it up put a note on there and and just going about your business without even knowing if somebody was in the truck that's that's just bad business that that don't look good that's not a good look uh company owner i'm i'm honestly going to say that probably might just be an owner operator or something like that but I don't know drivers. I don't know. I, I I just want you guys to understand that when you get out here, stop playing, man. I'm 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 going to keep saying that for the rest of the year, man, because that's that's what it looks as though 
that people that's in the industry that's making this industry look all glamorous and it's not stuff like that happens here's a driver that's unalived in the truck they had to pop the glass now here's a caveat <laughs> here's a caveat you know you ladies you guys love to do that seat belt trick the the, the seat belt trick just just wrap the seat belt around the around the door this is exactly what i was talking about See, they 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 gonna have to pop the window, and then it's still gonna be a little bit of hindrance because y'all got the seatbelt wrapped around the door. So let's say if you was in an emergency situation, you you was having a seizure, you having a heart attack, they they do what they doing right now. They bust out the window, and they still gotta gotta mess with the door because you got the seatbelt wrapped around the door. see right here is the reason why i keep saying that i feel that that seat belt trick don't work it's a hindrance in my opinion but rest in peace to this driver um yeah i mean it's every i i, I I'm sorry. I'm I'm just speechless right now because um it hurts. You know, companies out here all they just worry is about the go go go, get the load, go go go. You know, they don't care about the, you know, about the driver, about the driver real being, about the driver's health or anything like that. Go go go. If you're sick, take some Tylenol. But we need that load to get there. Go, go, go. If you don't feel good, just 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 walk it off. If you sleepy, just get outside the truck and, and do some catastatics. If you're unalive, just let us know where the truck is at so we can get it back, clean it out, and get it ready for the next driver. Because that's all they're going to do. They're not even going to let the next driver know that somebody was unalived in that truck. No, nah, they're just going to get it ready for that driver so that driver can continue to go, go, go. Before y'all get out here, man, y'all. Y'all better make sure that everything is on point. Make sure that your family knows where you're at. Make sure you talk to your family because depression is real. Mental health is real there was another driver that made that left a suicide note on facebook telling his family that he's going to be at the kentucky loves and that's where they can find him at unalive in his truck he committed suicide so ain't no telling what happened with this driver there's a whole bunch of speculations but what we do know is that he been there for a long time somebody did come there and check on the truck but didn't check on him drivers i just want you guys to be safe 